My name is Jess, and I'm playing Anna in the play 2020. Oh, great. Uh, so tell me about Anna. Anna is an anarchist. Anna <laughs> is a badass. Um, she really speaks her mind and her truth, which I admire about her. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. She's not shy at all. Yeah. Yes, there's definitely audience engagement in this play, which is something that drew me to the play, actually. Oh, great. So there's opportunity for the audience to get involved in, in actually vocalizing different protest ideas and um, shouting out ideas, but also they get to pick the, the, the three scenes we perform. So the audience is actually selecting our performance. I love the assassination scene. <laughs> Yes, I, I like living vicariously through Anna in that in that scene, but also she has a really powerful monologue in that mm. scene mm. Um, that speaks out against the abuses that the president is mm. currently enacting. I was already pretty radical in my politics. I'm already very progressive and far left, mm. um, but it was interesting learning more about what it means to be an anarchist and comparing that to the character of Sosha, who's a socialist, mm -hmm. because I resonate actually with pieces of both arguments. Um, so it was interesting to learn more about um, different philosophies and ways that we could model our societies. I think considering everything that's going on pol politically, in this country right now, it's important for us to stay civically engaged mm -hmm. in whatever way works for us. Mm -hmm. um, I think that play, drama, theater that has core themes of social justice mm -hmm. is a really powerful way of engaging civically and getting audience members to think and consider um, not just the situation we're presently in, but how we might get ourselves out of it. Yeah, hopefully it fosters some critical thinking. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully it's also fun yeah. for, for the audience to be engaged. But yeah, I think that this play is political in mm -hmm. its nature. And so I think it's powerful for people to be watching it and even more so powerful for people to be engaged with it. I am afraid that we are all going to become so numbed out and pacified that the status quo continues mm -hmm. and masses of people continue to suffer and we have the top 1% largely you know white supremacist right uh, people at the top continuing to stay at the top and I'm afraid that particularly right now that could mean the end of the world because yeah. we're not taking care of our planet and if we don't get someone progressive in there like Bernie Sanders, mm -hmm. plug, mm -hmm. um, then I don't think things are gonna change in time. Yeah. And that's really scary.